Well, I'm, my name is Urko Ayarza. I'm a bus citizen. I'm born in, in Donostia, called in Spanish San Sebastian. I was born and grew up in, in Donostia. I'm a lawyer involved on language rights and uh, human rights. And right now, since two years ago, I'm a member of, of the Amayur coalition in the Spanish Senate, representing my, my community. Basically, our perspective or what, what, what I could add to, to this debate is how we've seen the development of, of the Scottish process from, the, from other nations out of Scotland. And basically how amazing is, 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 is being for us and to see uh, not the outcome of the process but the process itself and the capacity that the Scottish people has had to develop uh, this debate in a very democratic way, in, in an amazing way in, in our point of view and also the capacity of the Scottish leaders and British leaders to join and discuss and agree and compromise on, on procedures, leaving at the end of the day to the Scottish people and uh, to the Scottish women and women the right to decide to choose about the future, which is for us is quite amazing and surprising. It's different not only to the situation in the Basque country and Spain, but to many other nations. And I think that what the Scotland shows at the beginning of the 21st century is that things can be done by other ways. And that uh, so tough questions like the national question that has been in the 20th century has been uh, a reason for bloody battles and bloody wars can be solved through, through other ways, through democratic ways. And I think in the case of the Basque country, basically, and in the case of the relationship that the Basque has had always with Spain, it's clear that uh, it shows that things can be solved through other ways, through, through peaceful, democratic ways. Spain always has raised the point that there are very different point, situations, and that uh, there is no any kind of relationship between what was going on in Scotland and the United Kingdom and what's the, the history of Spain. And on the other hand, we know that basically, at the same time, they were they were requesting to the ambassador in London to to take an eye on what's going on in Scotland, which clearly shows that there there is awareness of of what can happen in Scotland because at the end of the day. If the Scottish people decide democratically about their future, without any violence and, and the respect, I think that's the very important thing, the respect of London, of, of the British government, of whatever decision is, is taken by the Scottish, it shows that, that this can be done and people can decide uh, and, and that the, the decision is on the hands of the people. And that's, that's something that our uh, Spanish government well, I think that the, difference, the differences are, are, are really small. What the Spanish said is that in the case of the United Kingdom, there is not a constitution. And that, that there was a unity act and, and that this unity act can be dissolve, dissolved. Whether they say that in the case of Spain, there is a constitution which blindly says, declare clearly the unity of Spain and the indivisibility of Spain so that it's also in the, in the hands of the Spanish army to keep this unity and that uh, as it, it is in the core of the constitution you need two-thirds of the majority of the parliament to change it which means basically that it will be Spanish parliament who will decide about the future of the Basque country or the Catalans so at the end of the day what they are saying is that because the constitution there is no room for debate and I will add something in the case of the Basque country. This constitution that they said that by us it was not approved by the Basques in the 1978 because when it was we, we had the referendum on the Spanish constitution there was a minority who voted in favor of the Spanish constitution. So it's something that we said it does not really bind us. So that I think that the similarity is with Scotland, where there is a willingness to decide. Uh, there is a discussion about, a debate about what will be the best for the Basque people. Some people say, like here, that we are better united to Spain. Some other ones say that we will be better uh, becoming independent. And, and th there is this willingness to, to decide. And so that will be the similarity with Scotland. There, there is this similarity. Even there are also differences. I, I see that. I see in, in, the debate in Scotland is much more focused on uh, it will be better on economical terms or, or not. 
despite in the case of the Basque country, it's much more about uh, the, the the feeling is much more related to grievances and oppression of, of of years and of centuries. So it's much more, let's say, right now it's much more hard than mine. And that would be a great difference, I think. In that terms, uh, it will be our position will be much more linked to the Irish one or, or the historically than than the Scottish one. And in that sense, there, I see some some differences, but but I hope that would, that will change in the future. In some years, if we are able to settle a peace process and to develop it, we will be in a, in an scenario to talk about these things in another way, just in in, in terms of it's better or not uh, for our for our next generation to be independent or not. I think that whatever it's the outcome of of the referendum. You've got something to show to the people, something to be proud of it, and and to support. I mean, as a as a new model of conflict prevention, and, and I think that the Scotland should work on that, should work on on this successful story of of managing uh, such a difficult question like the national question through new ways that could be at the beginning of the 21st century a new way to solve conflicts and a new way to come to resolve the difficulties of of management of these issues. And I think that you should be very proud.